Hello. In this video, I will be showing you how to launch an LS Dyna Linux VDI on ANSYS Gateway powered by AWS. So right away, we can see we're in our LS Dyna project space. From here, we can go ahead and launch a new resource where for a Linux VDI, we'll choose virtual desktop. I'll go ahead and name the machine and then we can choose our availability zone. For our operating system, I'll choose Linux. Now the workflow for creating a Windows VDI is very similar to Linux, but for now I'll just show you how to create and run on a Linux virtual machine. We can then add our application. So I'll type in LS Dyna and we can see our options. We'll go ahead and select LS Dyna R12.1 for Linux VDI, where we can then select our license type and then put in our license server. If we want, we can go ahead and choose LS Prepost as well. So we just type in LS Prepost and select the application. This will install a genome desktop and also LS Prepost. We can then configure our hardware. So for this, I'll go ahead and choose C6i. And then we can keep hyperthreading disabled. Then we have the option to select our OS disk size, our disk type, and additional storage if we want it. I'll keep everything as default. We can then review our machine and then go ahead and launch it. Now we can go ahead and wait for our machine to spin up. All right, now our machine is up and running and we can go ahead and connect. We see we have two options, either remote desktop or SSH. Remote desktop is available because we've installed the LS Prepost application. But for now, I'll go ahead and connect using SSH. Here's our information to connect. So I'll go ahead and open up a command prompt where we can then SSH using the super admin username. And then you'll use the private IP address. All right. Once in, we'll see we're greeted by the readme file, which we can go ahead and open. It will tell you information about how to run on the machine as well as give you a sample command line to run Elastina. Under the root directory, we'll see where Elastina is installed, as well as the LS Prepost and the MPI. Now all licensing and environments are already set, so we can go ahead and run Elastina right away. But first we will need our input deck. So for that, I'll go ahead and open up another command prompt where we can use SCP to send our file over to our VDI. All right, and there's our input deck. We can go ahead and unzip it. And then we're able to run Elastina right away. All right, and there are all our run files. Now, if you want to post process, we can go ahead and connect to this machine using the remote desktop option. So I'll go ahead and close this out and we can change this to remote desktop. All right, now that we're here, we can go ahead and open up a terminal. 
and here we will see all our run files. So we can open up LS prepost with by either typing in LS prepost or with the other alias LSPP. From here, we can do all our post processing. Now, if you prefer accelerated graphics, you can install the LS prepost app on an instance type that has a dedicated GPU, such as a G3 or G4 AD instance. As of October 2022, this is only available on Windows. Once you're done running in post processing, you can go ahead and shut down the machine by using the stop button. But thank you for listening. This was how to create and run on an LS Dyna Linux VDI on Instance Gateway.